This is something very clear and it is a part of our theology to believe. What is sleep? Sleep is the temporary separation of the ruh from the body. And of course, there is the famous verse in the Quran that mentions this. Allah says in the Quran, Allahu yatawaffa al-anfusa hina mawtiha wallati lam tamut fi manamiha. Allah takes two souls. Allah takes two souls, two categories. Number one, when the souls die. Allahu yatawaffa al-anfus, right? When they die. Number two, wallati lam tamut fi manamiha. And those that are not dead but they're asleep. So Allah is explicitly saying, I take the souls of those who are sleeping. So sleeping, Allah takes the soul away. But it is a temporary taking away. The barzakh doesn't begin there. The barzakh begins when the connection breaks between the body and the soul. And that's why our Prophet also said, for example, he said, Annawmu akhu al maut. It's an authentic hadith. Three words. Annawmu akhu al maut. Sleeping is the brother of death. Sleeping and death are twins. Sleeping and death are very similar. And that is why it's very common for people to pass away in sleep. Because. Allah says, فَيُمْسِكُ الَّذِي قَضَى عَلَيْهَ الْمَوْتِ Those whom Allah has decreed will die in their sleep. Allah says, He keeps the soul. وَيُرْسِلُ الْأُخْرَى And the others, He sends them back until their time will come. This is all in the Qur'an. And that's why it's very common. One of the most common ways of dying is a peaceful death when you go to sleep and you just pass away, you don't wake up. This is mentioned in the Qur'an.